Hello and welcome to HP Calx. Rick here and right now we're going to have a look at how to use scientific notation on the Google Online Calculator. Again, this is a super easy calculator to use because it's pretty much always available to us as long as we've got a computer and an internet connection. So to get to it, we just go to Google and enter the word calculator. We can usually just write CAL and it'll pop up. Scroll down to it, hit enter, and it brings us to this page with the calculator right here. If we're given numbers in scientific notation, which is a way of condensing numbers that are either really, really large or really, really small, we can enter it into this calculator using this EXP key. So for example, if we're given this number here, 1.5 times 10 to the power of 4, we can enter it like this, 1.5, press this EXP key, and you see we get this E here. This will represent the times 10 to the blank. Our blank, or our exponent in this case, is 4. So we press 4 and press equals, and you can see we get 15,000, which is what 1.5 times 10 to the power of 4 is equal to. This also works for small numbers. So like this, if we have 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3, we can enter it as 2e, because that's our times 10 to the power of, and then since it's a negative exponent, we just hit the minus 3 and equals. And we see this equals 0 0.002. And we can also use this to add and subtract numbers in scientific notation. So let's say we're given this formula here. We can go 1.5e4, that's what we had, plus 2 e negative 3. There we go, and we see this adds up both those numbers to give us 15,000.002. Now I know these numbers might seem small, but it really comes into play a lot more handy if we have really large numbers. Like let's say we had 1.5 e, let's say 8. There you go. It's a lot easier to write this, 1.5 times 10 to the power of 8, than it is to write all these zeros on here. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of a way to go from the 15,000 back to the 1.5 times 10 to the power of 4 on this calculator. You might have to use a handheld one for that. Alright, I hope this helps everybody, and uh, good luck on those tests out there.